two. One go for strip, go for strip, 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 one dodge left, dodge left. You have to dodge, you have to dodge. Support, 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 support. Support, 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 support. Stick close, stick close, stick close, stick close. Peel back a bit, peel back a bit. Okay, peel back, peel back. Just disengage, disengage. Leave, 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 leave. God, these combis. Try to kill this guy if you can. Now, just leave, 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 leave. Come left, come left. Playing combi now, boys. Pull, pull, pull. Second, three, second, second, second. Leave, leave. Where's left? Three, in two, in one. Where's left? And push left. Push, 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 push. Damage, damage, damage. Dodge right. Three, two, one. Dodge, 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 dodge. Cliff, cliff. Thank you. Just cliff, 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 cliff. Cliff, 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 cliff. Dodge left. Three, two, one. Dodge left, dodge left, leave, 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 get away, get away, get just leave. So you put in three, in two, in one. a lot of condies again. Pull, 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 pull. Zigga, zigga, leave, 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 one push left, 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 left. Come to my attack, come to my attack. Damage, 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 damage. Cliff, 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 cliff on us, cliff on us. Should rally off this guy on us. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Stay close, come right, come right, come right, come right, come right. On the right, on the right, this guy. This guy, this guy. I, oh fuck, I can't ban this. Okay. Cliff, 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 cliff. You have to cliff, you have to cliff. Push left, three, two, and push left, push left, 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 left. Stay tight for me, stay tight for me, stay tight for me. Don't move anymore. Nice bubble, nice bubble. Stay in the bubble, stay in the bubble. Don't be afraid. Stay in the bubble, stay in the bubble. Circle right, three, two, and circle right, circle right, circle right, circle right. Slowly, slowly, support, 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 support. Cliff, 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 cliff. Push left, three, two, one. Push left, push left. They're gonna down, they're gonna down. Stay close, stay close, stay close, stay close. Feel back to the camp. Three, two. One, this again, this again, leave, 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 support, 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 don't die, 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 don't one push left now, push left now, push left, push left, 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 Bridge, bridge, knife fall, bridge, knife fall, stay close to my attack, stay close to my attack. Monobol, monobol, they're gonna crack, they're gonna crack, they're gonna crack. Keep monoboling, keep monoboling. Feel back a bit to bay, feel back, move, 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 Annoying. Just cliff, 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 we, we would have do a difference while playing more uh, poison scourges. All right, boys. Well, top cleanses and second top heals. Maybe like a bit of damage. I, I, yeah, he's on the right side. Two one. Where's on the right? Where's on the right? And try to pull in three. Two one. Try to pull. 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 Come left. 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 Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure. Change. Dodge right. Three turn. Dodge right. Dodge right. And keep on right. Keep on right. Cliff. 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 I got. Bump below, come below, come below, come below, come below, come below, he's gonna down, he's gonna down, don't worry. Stay close, stay close, stay close, stay close, come below, come below, guys, come below, what are you doing? Just support, 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 support. Cleave on us, cleave on us, keep pulling, keep pulling, pull back a bit, pull back a bit, pull back on the left, 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 left. Nice, 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 Pulling again, pulling, pull, 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 pull
around this so we can move. Also, the other thing as well is about Ellie. I'm bannering, I banner, cancel, I couldn't cancel, I'm lucky. Cleansing. Well, 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 guys. What do we have here today in front of us? In front of our very eyes. It was Tempest. Am I ever going to play this class, this support class ever again in my life? Probably one day. But I think that's it for the Ellie cope, boys. I've been coping on Ellie for like a while. We tried some DPS. It's pretty cope. It was fun, but it's pretty cope. We played some support because, well, it's just it's just too good. It's too good. Support is just too good in the game. If you don't have support, you cannot play the video game. Okay, your DPS cannot DPS. You can't stay alive. If you want to carry, you've got to play support. Now, ideally, you would play a different support, not Tempest or Ellie, right? But like like we discussed on the stream, this brings some value. Resing, rebound. This game has DPS. Auras. It's a very chill support to play. You're basically transmuting Frost Aura with Dagger 4. And you're healing, cleansing, and giving reduced damage. Incoming damage reduced by 10%. We're playing the classic Fire, Water, Tempest build. It's still very, very good. Is it meta S tier? No. But, hey, if you're an LA, you want to support, you're stuck in a in a, an issue, you're, a, you're in a situation where you need to support, you've got to do it, boys. You've got to do it. You know, carry for the team. Um, in fire, you've got a little bit of cleansing from a very passively automatic way, which is kind of nice. The other two traits is like whatever. This is a massive one. Smothering auras in fire is huge. Right, upon application of an aura, you remove a condi. And then when you transmute it, it's two. You can hover over the skill and it will show the here two. So yeah, it's, it's insane. The radius is kind of small. Not, it's not massive, so you have to be very, very compact. That's an issue with this class compared to some other cleanses. The radiuses and the range of the cleanse. Um, overloading water. Cleanse per pulse. Again, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's like 360 radius. It's not massive. It's not 600. So that's your cleanses. Your five on water and offhand dagger is another cleanse. Big cleanse, big heal. You know, you've got chill field and a blast field. You have... Another blast here with aftershock. You have another. You have another blast with the with overload earth. So you have a lot of blasts. You can you can combo and stuff. You can give might and fire before before the fight. The build hasn't changed. It's the same. There's nothing else to play, bro. Like, Ainet hasn't done anything with this class. In fact, they nerfed alacrity. You can't get alac anymore. So you were already there was only there was like two choices. Now is only one choice. They've given you less choice. You can't play any other support spec on Ellie, really. Maybe Staff. I do have a Staff build as well, but I don't... I don't think it's... I don't think it's as good as this. But if you need more stability, then if you're having problems with Stab, then, then you could play it. And you're basically playing the same build. You're pretty much playing the same build, almost. Like, there, there isn't much difference. Uh, as you can see, the traits are exactly the same. But the difference in the actual gear, instead of dagger, dagger, you're playing staff. And, yeah. Everything is is the same. Legit. There's nothing different. Yeah, you can stack some fire before the fight. You don't really want to be in any other achievement at the start of the fight, other than fire. And you kind of just stack in might. Like, it's the same as the same as before. It has not changed. We're running, we're running minstrel. This is the same. Staying alive is your most important priority. You, you don't really want to be outside of water attunement because you will probably die. Um, you have a stun break on overload, but there is a core damage you can see of overload. And you don't get access to that overload straight away when you swap attunement. So if you need more survivability, you can run 
Like I said before, Eye of the Storm. But you should be getting stun breaks and support through your party. Um, so it should be good. You can dodge and shit, right? You guys can dodge. We're playing Transference and Frenzy Sigils with Minstrel. And we're running Monk instead of Water. Water runes are also a good option if you want more boon duration. But I feel like you need more healing on this. And we're running Relic of Trooper. I was using Feel the Burn earlier if you want more Might, if you're struggling for Might. But I feel like this actually, Aftershock, is, is better for the Amob. There's more strips. And there is opportunities to make, you know, so, so make, some, so make, make a lot of kills from this. And I feel like you're getting more value from, from that than the, the Feel the Burn. Yeah, you're starting to fight in this achievement fire and out of combat. You're waiting for like the empower core. You're waiting for the fight to start. And then upon leaving fire achievement, you consume uh, any might and you'll give it to allies with the trait. But Pyromancer's Puissance. Puissance. It's French, guys, apparently. Um, it's But it means basically it's very hot. So just be careful. Uh, you might burn your mouth. Doing so will buff your allies while burning your mouth. Very nice. So after the final fire overload, use Feel the Burn. And then use Ring of Fire. Not the server, guys fire attunement you'll be in right so use ring of fire and then you can then blast it with earth and you have two blasts be careful of number five because it moves you forward churning earth would cha was changed so it moves moves you forward so once you've done that you'll get 25 might from from this i can show you here right now we do it again just in case you don't believe me because you think i'm a liar so we're going to fire overload okay then we do this let me do this let me do this. Let me do this. Okay. He's got 25 might. Boom. Okay. And then after this, you can go into air attunement and transmute if you need to. The shocking aura or just apply shocking aura. And then you're ready to... Then you're ready to go. And then you might want to go back into earth. And get ready to immobilize and, and dagger three into the enemy. Or you can just go close and aftershock. It depends on the engage. If you get a clean engage, earth three can be really good. If the enemy's pushing you and you want a defensive wells and a mob, then you want to probably want to be in water and then you just use aftershock and you just go straight into supporting. Water attunement is pretty straightforward. You remove condi when you go into water, you heal when you go into water. Um, oh, this trait, by the way, if you need to remove burning and chill, very, very strong. Yeah, auras, when you, when you get them, you give them to allies, you're healing. Vigor and regen. Overloading gives you aura. Protection. Big. Everything's just good. There's nothing else to pick. Order is like... Is, is basically you're just rotating frost aura. So you frost four, four. Okay. And then to get that back, you use flash freeze. 600 radius chill. Then you look. Comes back again. You do dagger four again. Overload. Will cleanse. Heal. Blah, 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 blah. Then you'll get it back again. Look, it's back again. Just spamming four. You want it? You want another one? Okay. Use rebound while in water, and you'll get it again. Once it finishes, there it is again. Okay. Now what do I do? Well, three seconds. I've got flash freeze again. This is coming off core damage again. So in the meantime, I could use like frozen burst to blast, cone of ice while I'm waiting. Right now, I can use four again. Now I can use flash freeze again. Now I can use four again. And like this is literally what you're doing. This is the rotation. Um, there's a 2.5 second internal cooldown on transmute, as you can see here, two and a half seconds. So you can't spam it. So you've got to like be patient sometimes and wait for it. You can't spam skills too fast sometimes. You have to wait. Okay. Um, but yeah, but if you need further cleanse, five is great. Big burst cleanse, three. Pretty nice. You're going to do loads of cleanse on this build, like tons. On par with scrapper, maybe. Maybe less than scrapper, maybe more, depending on the scrappers. If you are looking at part of UI, you're going to be cleansing when you see a lot of condies on your team or the condies that are really going to have a big impact, a negative impact on your party, right? So if it's one stack of bleed, one stack of burn, you don't care. If it's like chill, cripple, immobe, you know, or if it's damaging condies, then then GG's, right? GG's. Look, you can actually remove chill 240 radius by dodging. So if it is chill, you, you could even just dodge. If you, like, you're, there's not, like, I don't think you need to dodge on this build. I don't think you do. There's sometimes you need to dodge, boys, obviously. But it's not like you're spamming fucking dodges. Okay, so you might have, you might even have that up. You just use that, right? But if it's somebody in Uganda and he's chilled behind, 
Well, oh no, well, 240 radius, unlucky. You can't cleanse him. So there is some downside to this. The radius is kind of small. The radius of the cleanse is 360 on this one. So this would be better for ranged cleanse. Oh yeah, shocking ore is obviously good in melee range. Right? But yeah, overloading, you don't really want to overload anything. If you're not like outside of outside of it like if you don't take any pressure then you can do whatever but if if you if you're pressured you got to be in water if you come out of water you you're kind of griefing your party I, I think um if you're overloading air or fire or earth during fights there it needs to be massive downtime and no no like certain doom panic there's no combat going on like it's it, it's maybe you're ranging the enemy you know maybe the enemy's not pushing you're not pushing maybe that's fine but yeah you want to be in water when the shit goes down, as they say. Um, survivability dodges. Other than that, I mean, you have some mobility. So you can Earth 3, Fire 3. If you want to get back to the tank, you get pulled. Um, updraft is an evade, but it's like, it's on the spot. So, but you could do that. Could do that. But like I said, stun break is your overload. So if you, if you get pulled in and you have stun break, you overload back to the tag that did save me once today i think but ideally your party is going to be stun breaking and supporting you with stability and and, and boons yeah on wells after shock if you can like i said before dagger three if it's possible but if you need to support and immobilize then water and and aftershock overload earth is is pretty big actually but it's such a long cast time also this does give stab so yeah you're not running the trait where you get stab on overload when you start. So, but if you need stab, you could always use this at the start. You could. If you're, if you're struggling, your party is not giving you stab, then you could play DD, dagger, dagger, and just overload earth at the start. So you don't get pulled off tag. Wash the pain away is pretty good. Like, like heal is pretty good. But with each one, it's less heals. So first heal's big, second heal's moderate, third heal's kind of minor. Again, look at the radius. The closer you are at the start, the better. You want to use it on top of somebody who needs to needs to get healed, ideally. You do not want to be, like, trying to use this at range. What else? Oh, yeah, I said earlier, if you need more stun break, you go, um, you could go uh, Eye of the Storm, which is a shout. What? It's on a low CD as well. The, they, the shout's actually reduced, uh, have been reduced, like, cooldown wise that's a 30 second cooldown break stun for allies 600 radius that's massive and super speed and swiftness so that's really really good so if you're getting not like you're not having value from the the res renewal then then you can you could maybe use that um like i said earlier renewal is really really good but once you cast it it's only going to do the effect that where you where you like whatever attunement you're in that is going to be how it, it's affected so you can't swap mid cast to get a different effect so maybe some go guy goes down you're in fire attunement you don't really want to use fucking fire glyph right he's pulled into uganda you probably want to use air glyph which means that you would teleport the alley downstate ally to your location but you've got to then swap into air right but if you start casting it in fire and then you swap into air you don't get the air so if you want to use the air effect you have to be in air when you use it okay so and water is basically 100 percent hp when you revive them Earth is a three-man res. It's only 900 range. Very, very, uh, very short range compared to what it could be. I feel like they should buff it. They should buff the range on it. But it's fine. Um, revive one target with water, fire, and air. Earth is the only one that can revive multiple. But it's if two your party cast is time. not giving you stab, then stab them instead. True. So, yeah, cast time is an issue. No access to super... Uh, to quickness if they are on issue. uganda you can just let them die ez if you cast it you can stow weapon to cancel if if by the time that you casted it someone else is rezzed or they died you can cancel it with stow weapon or you can um same for overload as well if you want to cancel overload you can stow weapon another option you can press escape another option so sometimes you want to overload and sometimes you want to cancel the overload. Oh shit, I shouldn't be doing this. I need to get into water achievement. You can just swap to water achievement. That will cancel the cast of the overload. So you can do that as well. I cancel water. Shit, I need to be in earth because I'm trolling or something, you know. 
Um, and finally, rebound the elite skill. Um, it's doing pretty good heal. It'll give you another frost aura in in water attunement, and it'll prevent basically allies dying immediately when they take lethal damage. The next skill, uh, lethal blow, death blow, will be negated, and they'll Jeff. be healed instead. If their name's Jeff, they don't get healed. Um, this is pretty useful, obviously, um, especially if you find your mesmer is illusion of life is being used on a down state and they're about to die and it's blinking right before illusion of life ends on them they will not go down if you give them barrier or if you give them rebound if they're in your party boom rebound it this effect is going to be up ignores the debuff of illusion of life and they won't go down so it's pretty good that's pretty much the build we have life on st stacking sigil on a another dagger off yeah. dagger and we're using frenzy for reduced cooldown Jeff skills. said you cooked that too much it's banned. And well you could play another sigil but this one's pretty good. I like it. But yeah this is the build. Go and support and carry your team. If you want to know more about Tempest or Ellie's I suggest you go speak to a guy called Kintos. He streams on Twitch. He's an Ellie main. He'll probably tell you to play Harbinger. Don't listen to him. He loves Ellie. Uh, is there anything else to discuss here chat? No. Ellie cope. Is it cope? Is it a joke? Yeah, take an extra dagger and then and then use it to stab yourself, you guys, if you need more stability. Chat, you're weird, man. Why are you saying these weird things? I'm trying to make a YouTube a professional... I'm running a professional business here. Oh, yeah, food. Fuck. We forgot about food. What you want to do is you want to just eat some food that you think is yummy for your tummy. <laughs> right? Be careful if you've got allergies. Check the ingredients. You don't know what you, you don't know what you're eating these days. You got to be careful what you put in your mouth. Um, what was I going to say? No, seriously, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, just use healing food, outgoing healing food. You know, like the, the this one, this one. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good. Mint garnish salad thing, and these these things. That's pretty good. You want to heal? Okay, you're not giving that many boons to even care about boon duration. You have a little bit of boon duration. Sixty-six percent. Sixty-six. Sixty. I sound like that fucking. What was that film with the beaver? He'd whistle all the time. Not Matthew McConaughey. If you enjoyed today's show, drop a follow. If you didn't enjoy today's show, drop a follow. Either way, I don't care. If you like the the build, you want to go try it out, go try it out. If it's not on my Discord, it will be.